During World War II, an extraordinary and top-secret unit known as the Ghost Army emerged, operating under the official name of the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops within the U.S. Army. This exceptional group comprised artists, engineers, designers, and other creative minds who were tasked with a crucial mission to create elaborate deceptions on the battlefield, confusing and diverting the enemy's attention away from actual troop movements. The Ghost Army's innovative methods included a combination of visual and auditory tricks that were carefully crafted to deceive the enemy. They utilized inflatable tanks, trucks, and artillery to create the illusion of a massive military presence where none existed. From the air and ground, their deceptive installations looked authentic, fooling both enemy troops and reconnaissance aircraft. To enhance their illusions further, the Ghost Army used sound machines to simulate the noises of armored divisions and troop movements. They played recorded tank rumblings, radio transmissions, and even chatter of troops to give the impression of a large and mobilized force. The combination of these visual and auditory deceptions was remarkably convincing and often achieved the desired outcomes. One of the most significant operations undertaken by the Ghost Army occurred during the lead-up to the D-Day invasion in 1944. As the Allied forces were meticulously planning their massive invasion of Normandy, the Ghost Army was deployed to England with a crucial objective, to convince the Germans that the Allies would attack at Pas de Calais instead. Pas de Calais was much closer to the German lines, and the Germans believed it to be the most likely location for the invasion. To achieve this deception, the Ghost Army executed an intricate and comprehensive plan. They created an entire network of inflatable tanks, vehicles, and aircraft in the Pas de Calais region. They carefully positioned dummy troops and set up fake radio transmissions to create the illusion of a significant military force gathering for an imminent attack. The Ghost Army went to great lengths to ensure their fake installations were visible to German reconnaissance planes. Their efforts were not in vain as the Germans were thoroughly deceived. On D-Day, June 6, 1944, the Germans held back crucial reinforcements in the Pas de Calais region, expecting the real attack to come there. This strategic deception proved pivotal in allowing the actual Allied invasion force to secure a foothold in Normandy, which ultimately led to the liberation of Western Europe. Throughout the war, the Ghost Army continued their deceptive tactics in various campaigns across Europe. They played an instrumental role in the liberation of Paris, and they operated alongside various Allied units to create confusion on the battlefield and keep the enemy off balance. Despite their critical contributions to the war effort, the activities of the Ghost Army remained classified for many years after the war. Only in the 1990s did their story begin to emerge, thanks to the declassification of documents and the tireless efforts of historians and researchers. The unsung heroes of the Ghost Army finally gained recognition for their unique and ingenious efforts that helped secure victory for the Allies. In recent years, the Ghost Army has gained increasing recognition for their strategic thinking and their contribution to the success of the Allied forces during World War II. Their story has been the subject of documentaries, books, and even exhibitions, ensuring that their legacy endures and continues to inspire future generations. The Ghost Army's legacy serves as a powerful reminder that creativity, innovation, and teamwork can be formidable weapons on the battlefield. Their willingness to think outside the box and challenge conventional military strategies played a significant role in turning the tide of the war and shaping the course of history. The Ghost Army's contributions are a testament to the ingenuity and dedication of those who served, demonstrating that sometimes the most powerful weapon in warfare can be the human mind.